Right, this is Paige then going for the merit part then. Um, ex right then Paige, explain the fitness requirements for achieving excellence in a selective sport. Go on um, then. I pick Jessica Venice and Chris Hyde to compare their training methods on right. a daily basis. Um, Jessica Rennes, she'll do press-ups, sit-ups, squat jumps, tricep dips, side lunge, squats. Yep. Um, that'll all be in the morning. Right. Um, and then Chris Hoy will do a two-hour gym sh session, squats, weightlifting, cycling, um, that kind of stuff. And then he'll go off and do a few laps around um, the track. Right. Velodrome, yeah? Yeah. Um, they both have a sim similar training method, but there are some slight differences as they both have different areas to work on. For example, Chris is a cyclist, so, so he will have to work on his legs and muscles, whereas Jessica has to work on her legs, arms, and general stuff like that. Why is that, and which event does she do? Do you know? Um, she's the heptathlon, uh, yeah. Good. So. And does Chris Hyde do sprints or longer distances? I think he does um, longer distances. Uh, then again, I could do sprints. Yeah, so. So, how many laps around it roughly? Oh, I don't know, as many as you can fit in, about three. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so, so, which other areas might differ then between Chris Hyde and Jessica Ennis' training? How do you mean? So, so, what things might Chris Hyde do that Jessica Ennis doesn't do? Weightlifting. Right, so. So she might do different weightlifting mm. to Chris Hyde because obviously um, Jessica Venice might have to do the lap pull down, whereas Chris Hyde will have to do leg extensions and that that is hard stuff. Um, and obviously Chris Hyde will have, to, will have to go on bike, whereas Jessica Venice will do sit ups or press ups, bench press. So. Right, fine, good.